Hey guys, it's Bad Man Ryan here. Um, I'm just going to do a video basically explaining why I have nothing in my bank. Uh, if you saw my uh, coming back video, you'd notice there is a little clip of my bank in there, and I have absolutely bugger all. When I came back, I had probably about uh, six mil to my name or something like that, and that that was it. And I'm considering I had quite a lot, and as you can tell from the title of the video. Um, yes, I did get into staking. Now, yeah, I did win a hell of a lot with staking, and I did lose a hell of a lot with staking, but the reason I lost it, um, I'll tell you a little bit later on, but it wasn't just, oh, I got greedy and I couldn't left the arena, leave the arena, and I just lost it all. It wasn't the typical story of that, because everyone hates staking, they hate st stories like that. But, I didn't stake on this account, because obviously... This is a maxed account, it, like for staking, but boxing wise. This is a maxed account, therefore, you're going up against someone else with exactly the same stats, and you face a 50 50 chance of winning. So, you're kind of gambling, you're rolling the dice with this kind of boxing, which is why I don't really like it. I've done it before, I've done staking on um, this uh, Bad Man Ryan. Um, this is the account that I got cleaned on. Oh my god, when it, why is my name friends chat? What the fuck? Just clicked it and now it's Bad Man Ryan. Karen, I was not saying, um, this is the account I got cleaned on uh, because I got bored and lazy. Um, I'll tell you uh, later on, but anyway, I'm going to go to a clip of my pure, no, my pure staker, uh, as you would call it. Uh, it is a, just a pure staking account. I spent absolutely weeks training this account up. Uh, it was horrible getting this account up. Now, if you are uh, my friend or whatever and you know about me and I'll maybe tell you stuff, you probably won't even know that I even had a staker because the the fact that I didn't even tell anyone about it. Um, I didn't tell anyone about it because if it didn't f pull through and I didn't make a lot of money and let's say I did make a staker, then I got cleaned what's the point of bigging yourself up that you've got a staker and you're training it up or whatever and it was oh hey so how's your staker doing and you're like oh got cleaned they're like oh shit so i thought there's no point in telling someone unless i actually reach a goal which i want and the goal what i wanted was to stake and make um what is it a yellow party hat an ellie and about 200 mil to play around with for bandos and everything. At the time, that was worth a total of 1.9 bill. That's what I wanted to make. Um, and I wasn't going to kind of stop until I got it. That's why I made the staker. But I thought, what's the point in announcing I've got a staker and anything and everything before I actually reach that goal? Because if I don't reach that goal, then I'll look like an idiot. Which is why I didn't tell anyone. So now... Um, I thought, hey, I've got loads of these screenshots, I'll tell a story and you can just watch a nice video, you know what I mean. So, I'll just flick to a quick uh, um, a scene of my staker and log in on him. Throughout the video, I'm going to put screenshots of the stakes that I've won uh, throughout my staking period. And uh, it's just going to be random throughout the video and I might stop it and do little bits and pops. So, just enjoy the screenshots. No, no, no. No, no. Here we go. Here's my staker. Um, the name has been changed today. It was Bad Hair Nine. I'm Comet Level Ninety Three, and the stats are as shown. As you see, eighty one attack, seventy strength, eighty two defense, and the big nuts, uh, ninety seven health. Now, what I do on this account is I box, just plain, plain old naked boxing with me, the bloody samurai. Um. When people make boxing accounts, um, boxing stakers, they usually either even out the stats or just focus on like either attack, attack or defense. Uh, don't really bother with strength too much because that's mainly for like DDSing and whipping and everything. But everyone leaves out health. Now, when you're going in a boxing fight, you, if you go for loads of attack and loads of defense or whatever, it's non-visible results because you're kind of hoping that it's, it's working and you're just trusting the system that your high attack level is going to make you hit more often. You're just trusting it that it should work because that w that's what it's meant to do. But you can't visibly see that 
oh, if I was 10 attack levels lower, would I have hit that? You can't tell that. With strength you can, because obviously there's a max hit. Now with defence, you might notice a difference, but that might have happened anyway if you use a lower defence level. It might be just the attack on their end, which would be holding them back. So you never really know. It's kind of taking a... You're taking a gamble getting a high defence and high attack or whatever, but the reason I chose health because it is the most important thing at a lower combat level for boxing. Because it is visible results. Every single duel, my 97 health comes into play. Now, if so, I've gone up against people with 99 defence and I've beat them. How does that show that 99 defence worked in that duel? It didn't. It sucked and it it was it was shit because I beat him. Now I beat him with 81 attack. Now 97 HP, a high HP level will always come into play every single boxing fight because it's there. You have 970 health points. You they have to knock that down to zero. So no matter what, they have to kill uh, kill that. Now. If I had a high attack and high defence or whatever, I'd just be hoping that the system would work and they wouldn't hit me as much and I'd hit high. But HP is always there, that's why I chose it and I got it up. Obviously, it is very hard to get it up, I sat there and sold wars like a bitch. Yes, I did AFK a lot of it and watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z series. Please leave a comment if you like it as well, because it's fucking immense. Basically, I'll explain the story from the start. Um, I created this staker and I got given... One, I, I asked, I, I didn't have a lot of money at the time, so I asked Ali if I could borrow 100 mil off him to just get the ball rolling. And I said, like, don't worry, if I lose this 100 mil, I'll work my ass off and get it back manually and give it back to you. So I asked him for 100 mil, and I said, right, let's get going. So I got straight into staking. I was winning bits and bobs here and there. I got, I won, I had so many screenshots of under 20 mil, but... I just deleted them all because I thought there's not much point and I only, only want to look at the ones at over 20 mil really. So I had loads of wins uh, up to that. I got up to 300 mil within two days and I was so happy. I went straight out, straight back to... No, I didn't give the money back to Ali straight away. I kept going until about 500 mil and then I gave it back to him. So I, was, I settled. I had nice 400 mil there. It was, was pure profit. So I thought even if I lose this... I'm still the same as I was kind of thing so I was really enjoying it I was getting more and more uh, into staking winning more getting more confident the more money you have the more money you have to play with so I just kept going up up and up and I got to the point where I was like taking little logs because I was thinking like damn this is this is getting serious I'm making good money on this like this staker that I've created like I haven't I've only seen one in my time I staked from like three weeks I don't know for I've only seen one staker with similar stats to me and that's just high health I've only seen one person with high health like that that's of my level and everyone else has chose either even stats or high defense or high attack so I was thinking damn I've, I'm making so much money and my win loss ratio was probably about I'd win seven out of ten matches and you think if you're doing the doubling technique where you stake one mil, one mil, one mil, that's all you st I was staking ten mils. So if I stake ten mil, ten mil, if I lose a match, I then stake twenty mil. So if I win, I win back my ten mil and I win back ten, ten mil profit. If I lose that, I stake forty mil, then eighty mil, then hundred sixty, three twenty, so it's six forty, you know, it keeps on going and the more money I play with, the more you can go with that method. But if I'm doing a, a seven wins out of ten then that method is a hell of a lot enhanced. On this little staking account, I think I made 1.4 bill. Now at the time, party hats were... I don't know, I'll, I'll add a little video in right here because I actually made enough money on this staker to go and buy my party hat back and I'd still have about 200 mil to play with. Now here's the video of me buying my... Um, party hat back as you can see it's got 1.4 bill there and other stuff like bandos fury like back then bandos and fury and berserker and all that in my invent i don't know it was probably about 55 mil or so so and the party hat um 
when I actually go out to the bank. Uh, I think it's 1.28 bill or something. So I was, I was, I was happy. I was like, yes, I've got it. I've act actually done it. I haven't told anyone about this, so everyone still thinks that I've got the general amount of money, and they don't know about Staker. They don't know what what's really going on, because I haven't really been logged on by Ryan Ryan for ages. So here I am trying to buy the party hat again, um, raising the price a little bit. It is quite stupid that you can just buy it in the GE, but anyway. Um, what price did I sell at? I'm being stingy here. I, I think I know the G tries to buy the best offer for you or whatever, but I still thought I'd add that price. And there we go. The yellow party hat's been brought with one mil to spare. Um, so I brought the party hat, done it. Um, what's in the old bank? There's all the stuff for uh, what is it? Camping bandits as well. Is it AFK there for a while? And there we go, wearing all the stuff, even on Mistaker. Uh, this was a really proud moment for me in a way, because I thought, look, I had 100 mil off Ali, and gave that 100 mil back when I made some profit, and I made this 1.4 bill um, off of my bloody, off my own back, just staking. And it took me three weeks to make 1.4 bill from this little staker. And that's quite impressive, I think, considering that. I started from a uh, hundred mil, and I even gave that back. So if I didn't give that back, I'd be one point five bill. So I was quite impressed, considering I, ha I haven't done staking a lot before, and this is like my first proper go at it on a staking account. But the, obviously, the staking account was moulded by myself. So it sounds really good, doesn't it? I'm making loads of money in, f in three weeks. I made one point four bill profit, and I'm just cruising along. Uh, got my yellow party out back, but. I still wasn't happy. The f the goal that I did have in my mind from the start get go was I wanted an Ellie because Ali had one at the time, and I wanted a yellow party hat because that's just me. I wanted it to match my Runecraft cape, you know. That's the reason I got nine on Runecraft to match my yellow party hat. Um, that so Ellie a party hat and about two hundred pill mil to play with, just to like keep me going with Slayer and everything because I wanted like Bandos, Fury and some extra cash for runes and whatnot. So all of that was about 1.9 bill so I still had 500 mil to make so I was like right let's get going on this. Went back to Jordan Arena. Um, it didn't go too well on um, my uh, uh, was it staking account. It, it just kind of went a little bit downhill and I was losing a lot more than I was winning and I wasn't losing a lot but it just got to the point where I probably lost about 100 mil and I was down to kind of like 20 mil to play with because I had a party hat so I was like shit like what do I do what do I do so I thought fuck it right I transferred the party hat back to my staker sold it in a GE um, probably lost about 40 mil on it from buying it and selling it um, and then I was like right Let's, let's get going. I think I went back on my pure and there was no one to stake and I was like, right, I can go on Badman Rhyme and I can win all the money I want within one stake. Within seconds you can find someone that you want to stake like one bill with because everyone stake box stakes a lot at high level, maxed. You know, so I thought, right, let's go there. And the reason why I thought this because while this was all happening, like everything went wrong on my staker, right? And I logged off for probably about a few days. And within that time, Ali was going to quit. And he was thinking about quitting, and he didn't log on at all. And I was thinking, shit, like, oh, I can't be fucked with this. And I was, going, I was considering going back to WoW. I think at the time, I did sign up for WoW again, but I was still kind of partly playing RS. Now... I got news that Ali was completely quitting, I think. This is quite a while ago, so I'm trying to remember it myself. But I think Ali completely quit now, and he was going to join WoW. So I was like, fuck, yes, this is awesome. Like, th that's the one thing I've always wanted Ali to come uh, come play WoW with me, because I played WoW before him. And um, I know you guys don't guys want to hear this, but this is the story anyway. Uh, he was going to quit for WoW, so I was like, yes. I was, I was kind of like, fuck RS, you know. 
I wasn't too much into vid making. The only vids I used to do was just update videos, which is shit, wasn't they? You'd probably agree with me, they were shit. Wasn't much effort in them because I was too addicted to RS to prioritise videos over it. So I thought, right, fuck this game, I either make it or I don't. So I went in on Bad Bad Ryan. I, st I think I started off a little bit low, you'll probably see on the screenshots, and then I kind of worked my way up a little bit. And um, it was going good a little bit, and then it went really bad, right? Because I can't remember exactly, but I think I lost a lot. I probably lost like 300 mil and then I won it back and then I lost it so I was like fuck it let's do the big one so if it does go right for me it goes really right lost 500 mil I was like shit like fucking staked another 500 mil won it staked another 500 mil won it someone came up to me and staked me like when it staked me a divine I think at the time it was 600 and, no 750 mil so I was like right if I win this that's it I'm done I've, I've, I've got everything I want and I can leave it staked it and yeah sod's law I lost and I was like, right, fucking hell. Like, and at the end of the day, I, I thought to myself, I can't be bothered with this game. Why am I getting all stressed out over a game which I'm not going to play and I can't be bothered to play? And the game was the game was going a bit downhill, admittedly, at that time. That period of time that there was dicing going on. There was um, loads of people were quitting because of dicing. And everyone was raging about loads of things. And bots, everyone was going crazy about bots back then. So, um it's one of them things I just thought right I'm gonna start start a new game so what the, what the hell I don't care about this even if I lose I don't give a shit because I can't be bothered so obviously I went all in and I won some and I lost some and th the end of the day as you can probably see I completely lost everything and I wasn't too phased at it I lost it and I told Ali straight away I said oh just got completely cleaned on RS from 1.4 bill up and he said, oh, fuck, man, oh, shit, oh, fucking hell, I mean, oh, that's crazy, man. I was like, I don't really care, to be honest. It, it was not putting on an act or anything. I generally didn't care because I was like, look, I'm more concentrated on, on WoW. Like, I can't see myself coming back to RS, really. So at the time, I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it just because... I got addicted to the arena and I couldn't leave and all this stuff. It wasn't that. I had a goal set and I wanted to reach that goal and I just got fed up because I wasn't going to play the game anymore. Like So I was going to quit the game anyway, so why not go out with a bang? I either go out and get cleaned or go out and reach my goal and leave it. So I gambled and I lost and I wasn't really phased at the time. So, so I've made my staker a member again and I'm going to start staking more and more what I did I brought 10k pure S from the GE with the money I had on Badman Ryan made 20k nats took me about 3 to 4 hours or something it is really good it's 1.4 mil profit an hour for uh, nats at the moment which is really nice so I made myself a good 5 mil transferred it over to um, my staker and within an hour I made it to 20 mil and I'm sitting in an hour with 22 mil and I'm thinking it's, it, it's going well and hopefully I can work my way up and keep going up exactly the same as I did and um, reach a yellow party hat again whether that will happen or not I don't know I could get cleaned tomorrow you never know but if I get cleaned I'll just runecraft again make some more money and start again with a 5 mil so but what I want to do is I don't want to make loads and loads of money. Don't don't think I'm going to do that because what I want to do is simply get money for Yellow Party Hat back again and then leave it at that. Just n not make any more money. I'm just going to make enough money for Yellow Party Hat. That's it. Not going to make um, money for uh, like a Yellow Party Hat and Ellie. Brandos, all this lovely stuff, and loads of money to buy everything. Don't want to do that because if you have too much money, it can ruin the game. It really can. That's why dicing. Even people that got bills, billions off dicing and that, they quit the game because it just becomes boring. You think if if you have loads of money in the game, you could buy whatever you wanted. Where's the fun in that? You want something, you can get it. It might seem fun in your head, but you think. Oh right, let's go do a skill. Let's still go do Slayer. Oh yeah, Slayer's wicked. You gotta do Slayer. You get 
a whip drop, although it's 400k now, you'd think, oh, it's a piece of shit, like, you even consider not even pick it up. You get a dragon visage, or some claws drop, or something, and you won't be phased at all, it'd just be like, be like pennies on the floor. So, that's worthless. You want to get, let's say you want to get another skill up, oh, let's go get Herbler up. You could get that to 99 in a few days, because you've got all the money in the fucking world. So where's the fun in that? There's no accomplishment there. It's just, if you have so much money, it just becomes a bore. That's what the game is about. The game is all about money, how to make money. You do go do bosses. Why do you do bosses? To get a good drop. Why do you want to get a good drop? To get money. But money is not good if you have a lot of it. You just want to have a sufficient amount. You want to have goals. And you can't have goals if you have all the money, you think. So... All I'm going to do is just get a yellow party hat, have it back, I want it with my runecraft cape, and then that's it. I'm going to make money off Slayer, make money off my farming or whatever, I'm going to do it the hard way. But I just want to do it the hard way with my yellow party hat, because that's the reason I wanted to get 99 runecraft, was to have my 99 runecraft cape and my yellow party hat. I'm known for it, but... Yeah, uh, so that's 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 basically all, guys. That's I'm sorry that it's been a really really long video and it's just been boring. But oh well. Hopefully you've seen some good screenshots and you've been enlightened by my story. If you want to add my staker, you can. I might have the private chat off because obviously if I'm in a staking world, I'm not going to see any PMs anyway. So my home world on Badman Ryan is 83. You might see me around. You never know. And join my clan chat. Please join my clan chat because we have a right laugh in there. So. Hopefully I should see you round and uh, I'll update you. I'll update you of how my stake is going and everything and make some videos on it. So peace out guys and hope to see you soon.